Frank Seppi here with IFBB Pro Juan Morel, and we're at the NPC Universe. So, what brings you to the Universe today? I'm just here to show support. I mean, I love going to the New York shows, all the, all the shows actually here in New York and most of New Jersey. You know, you guys are used to see my face. Sometimes I go backstage and just look at the competitors, let them know they look good, you know, um, all the hard work. I'm just a big supporter, big, big fan of just the pro and the level, you know. So, what New York shows did you do? Oh, I did the <laughs> Easterns. Um, did you come in? My first Easterns, I came in dead last, 16th place. So there's nothing after 16th, but there's like 40, 50 competitors and the light heavyweight. So I was like dead last, yeah. See, for all you NPC competitors out there, you don't come in first, your first try, you come in fifth. He came in 16th, and he's won IFBB Pro shows. So that just goes, you stay in the game, stick to what, you know, the consistency of the diet, the training, and maybe you could be Juan Morel. That's, so. <laughs> that's the big key, you know, that I would have to say, just give a little tip and a little bit of advice to all the guys trying to come up and trying to become professionals or just get better from show to show is I, after I would finish the show, I would go right back to the gym and I would, you know, if I needed to work on something, whatever it was, I would just go back to the drawing boards and get after it. I wouldn't take a month off. I wouldn't take a week off. I went right to the gym. You know, I mean, if your body feels like you need a break, you know, take it. But sometimes people take longer breaks than needed. If you're trying to make improvements, you always should take advantage of the rebound right after the show and just eat up and train hard. So that's interesting. You come in 16th. What show do you do next? And how long did you wait before you got on stage the second time? Uh, after that, I waited a year later and I actually chose, um, I went back to the Easterns, which I got second place. 16 to seconds, good, yeah. Um, but I wasn't, that I, you, I, I picked a show a week before, which is a Jersey show, I won the overall. Wow. Then I came here to the Easterns, I mean, and I um, got second to Antonio. I don't know if you know Antonio, he's a pro now too, as well. So he got first, and Max was actually, Max Charles was actually in that show too. He won the no, super heavyweights, yeah. yeah. So it was a really, really like great lineup. Uh, uh, you know, um, he had a, th that was just an amazing show. But, you know, you just got to keep going, keep going. And I didn't go to a national level show to 2010. So after competing in 2007, which was my first Eastern, 2010, I waited three years till I felt like I was ready mm -hmm. before I went to a national level show. At, at that time, it was a little, it was a bit hard. I'm not saying it's not easier now, but it was a little more depth in the competition. Yeah. Well, you become a pro in the NPC, but you become a legend in the IFBB. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we say. So now, you had a good year so far, right? You won the New York Pro. That had to be incredible, right? Especially yeah. being from New York, like you know, doing all those New York shows. And that, to, to all of us, you know, especially living here, that's the, the top, the epitome of like the shows, the, the, you know, the top of the heap. That was my, my goal, to win the New York Pro, meaning since... When I turned pro, that was my goal. And when I got that pro win, the New York Pro, I mean, that was one of the best accomplishments I ever achieved, achieved in my life. And I still can't believe it. I still look at the ring and I'm like, I'm wearing the ring. There it is. And I still, I still look at the ring and I'm like, I can't believe it. You know, like it still really hasn't hit me. And uh, I'm just really, really happy. And, you know, now I'm looking forward to the Olympia and hopefully improve from last year, which I got top 10. You know, to me, just to improve, I'm not going to say, oh, I want top six, top five. Whatever happens, what I want to do is just improve from last year. So Now, you started your Olympia prep. We always know anyone who goes down to the East Coast Mecca has seen Juan. He's always in condition, never really heavy in the offseason, always has thin skin. It's just a matter of bringing himself down for, for the Olympia, you know, getting into that top, top condition. But you're always in shape. Always very, very nice to all the fans. If you're ever in the New York area, you come down the, you know, the East Coast Mecca, Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym, you'll see Juan. He's always shaking hands with fans. Very gregarious guy, really nice. How are your fans going to see your Olympia prep? Do you have a, you got to put it on your website? Do you have an Instagram account? Usually I post everything on Instagram, um, but, you know, I mean, I think we're going to do stuff together. Absolutely. So come to NPC News online, um, my Instagram, or, you know, if I do any videos for, you know any other uh, companies, but I'm pretty. I'm then. I mean, I am definitely going to do some for NPC News. So you know, watch here, and you guys are going to you know check it out. And you with your new company, right? One Up Nutrition. One Up Nutrition. Yes, we're going to have videos coming out with them as well. So you know, just guys, um, just follow my Instagram, and I'll keep you guys posted on everything 
that I will be doing. And I'll let you guys know whether to check them out on the NPC News, One Up Nutrition. So just stay tuned. That's right. So there you have it. Your success story in the NPC, like I said. You turn pro in the NPC, become a legend in IFBB. Won the top show in New York, going to a second Olympia, right? Your second time at the second Olympia. Time, yes. Top 10 in the Olympia. Like I said, you can see Juan down at the East Coast Mecca. Really nice to all his fans. I'm not just saying that, but you see this guy in action. He's the same. You see that? He's always smiling, always having a good time. Very passionate about, you know, professional bodybuilding. And like I said, we wish you luck. You have a lot of fans on NPC News Online. And we'll have videos of Juan getting ready for the Olympia. So thank you for you know, thank taking you. the time. Thanks, Juan. Peace.